your birthday. Hold up, hold up. Mummy has to film a video. You can come back and say hi at the end. <sighs> you didn't seriously think you could start the video without saying hello. I'm a mum now, I have so many manners. Hi guys. So as you just saw in that little snippet of footage, um, I did film some <laughs> of my birth and my labour, which was the craziest, most incredible experience of my entire life. So yeah, I wanted to share it with you. I obviously didn't capture all of it. That would get taken down. Definitely wasn't the smoothest birth. But you know what? I started the day in a real jolly old mood. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Just had some breakfast. It's July 14th, and I'm really hoping that you'll be born today. We watched an England football game. England was in the final on Sunday. Little did I know my waters broke during the penalty shootout. Enough to break anyone's waters. Mine almost broke as well, I think. <laughs> We're um, now gonna go in. I'm dilating a tiny bit, but I think you like it in there. So keep you posted. We can't wait to meet you. What's happening? <laughs> you videoing me? Yeah, you're bouncing. <laughs> I'm <no> bouncing. <laughs> I'm two centimeters now. My waters are broken officially. Nice pants, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> What are you saying? She had quite good harmony, I thought. <laughs> How are you going to scream? <laughs> Short of our house. <laughs> Someone's at the door. Can you get that? Oh, I'm telling you, it's so funny when you're in labour, you go from like, you're fine and sort of in pain, and then it just goes rapidly downhill. George said I was like, moving like a cow. And I remember just sucking on the gas and air like this. <laughs> and then I progressed very, very speedy and I just got to the point I was in so much agony I was looking at George like, help me. That is when I had the pethidine injection and I kept saying, I think I need to push or I'm gonna be sick, I don't know which one. Then I pushed for like an hour and 15 minutes and they said to me that they had to intervene. Penelope's heart rate just wasn't coming back up as much as they would like. Um, and I did have to have forceps, which was what I did not want at all. But in that moment, you just really don't care. And I was like, okay, let's just do it. Let's just get it over with. So I had an episiotomy, which for those of you who don't know, is a little, well, I wouldn't say little. And in two pulls, my baby was delivered and I met my baby, and they put her on me. Oh God, it makes me cry. It's a magical, I'm just gonna show you. So enjoy me meeting my baby for the first time. George was an incredible birth partner. It was the best day of my life, and I can't wait to do it again. But I'm not pregnant, let's not start any rumors. So watch me meet Penelope, guys. I'm back, I'm finding time, I'm a mum, and I will see you next week for some more fun stuff. I love you guys. Thanks for being here. She's super mum. She's only two hours old. <laughs> Why in this bush? She's had like parties and everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got your kids. You were born in Oxford. I want to take a tea. Or have you been mum? What do you have to say to Penelope? I've never loved anything more in my life. You're going to be the best dad. Penelope Julia. The most special girl in the world. Have you really hurt, mummy? <laughs> you look so fresh. I'm the best. She's still in her pajamas. Come and say hi.